Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your June 2021 general readings. We are looking at the first two weeks of June from the 1st to the 15th. This reading is for the water sign of Scorpio. <clears throat> Welcome everyone. I hope you're all well wherever you're at. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, any of the videos, all of your likes, shares, uh, hitting that subscribe button, donations, comments, feedbacks, personal readings. It is all greatly welcome and greatly appreciated and many blessings back to you. So this reading is for Scorpio for the first two weeks of June 2021. Uh, that's if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in Scorpio. It's also relevant if you're cross-watching for a Scorpio. Of course, it's going to resonate differently for everyone. It's a general reading. Uh, so watch all of your signs for the additional insight and perspective it can provide. And if you find that any of the readings resonate with you enough to reach out for a personal reading or information about that for yourself or as a gift for someone else, maybe take a deeper look at something, click on the description link below that little arrow, you'll see some contact details, email address, Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. Feel free to email me directly. Uh, I do offer a wide variety of readings and I can usually respond with more information uh, the same day. And I do readings full time, so I'm pretty diligent about uh, scheduling those personal readings as quickly as possible. So send me a message if you're interested. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what's in store for you for the first two weeks of June. I am using <coughs> Tarot of Dreams. <clears throat> clarifying with legacy of the divine Scorpio we begin with the Empress with the ace of swords some of you may be conceiving finding out you're pregnant deciding to try to get pregnant perhaps even giving birth uh, but giving birth can, it, for some of you, it might be literal, um, or conceiving something, it might be literal. For others of you, it might be uh, in a different area of your life, like giving birth to something new, a new idea, the seeds of something being planted. Because both of these cards reference new beginnings, you know, the, the time in a, in a, in a if you're gardening, uh, springtime where you plant seeds it's a you know this is the right time to begin uh, something new new projects of any kind the queen of coins very lovely energy here Taurus Virgo Capricorn Sun Moon or rising or Venus might be a, a, an actual individual that's specific in your life during this time showing up as a queen but could be a king as well in a general reading or it might be the energy that you're manifesting capable, resourceful, practical, abundant, um, indulgent, likes good things, works hard to gain those good things. With the two of wands, crossroads, decisions, how to move something forward. Twos, of course, come after the aces. The ace is the new start, the new beginning, the new idea. And then the two is, okay, how do I start? Which path do I go down to to begin to manifest this? We have the Ten of Wands, a long-held heavy burden, perhaps overwhelming, coming to an end, a difficult cycle coming to an end. With the Three of Wands, feeling more positive, hopeful, and optimistic about the future, waiting for your ships to come in. This is about seeing small manifestations of smaller goals on the road to achieving something larger and feeling uh, that as your path continues, it's going to get better and better. I really like the progression at the bottom on the bottom row here, Scorpio, because we have the ace of swords, the ace of air, the new idea, illumination, perspective, seeing something in its true reality. And then the two, okay, which path do I go to begin to manifest what I want, which is whatever the Ace of Swords is for you. And the Three of Wands is about having, you know, we have one, two, three, and three is that you've started to do some of the work, you've laid some of the groundwork, you're seeing some things pay off, and you're feeling uh, pretty good about what you're gonna obtain in the end. From the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords, but perhaps you're keeping it all to yourself, doing it in secret. Your sister sign Pisces had the secrecy concealment energy too, but in a way that was a bit more challenging. Um, so the Seven of Swords, I fondly refer to it as my sneaky thief card. It can be positive or challenging. What it really represents is somebody who has something they want to do, accomplish, acquire, maintain, gain. 
and in their ideas and their plans and their actions around it they keep it to themselves or mostly to themselves because they feel that's the best way to achieve it so it's a card of doing things kind of undercover or off the grid or you know in concealment i'm going to pull one more the knight of coins knights represent offers and opportunities the knight of, of coins um is slower than his other three brother knights because he's governed by the element of earth uh but he's the one knight guaranteed to finish what he started. He's slow, methodical, cautious, detail-oriented, but he never stops until he gets it done. So, and that makes sense too, because what I'm getting here, Scorpio, there's a lot of beginning and the early stages of a path towards accomplishing something that you want. Um, so it's slow and steady. I, I mean, when I see the Knight of Coins or the Knight of Pentacles, that's what I think of. Uh, you know, slow and steady wins the race with the tortoise and the hare, you know. So you're planning something. You're starting to plant the seeds and do the initial footwork to grow something to full fruition down the road. But for the time being, and we're only looking at a short period of time here, the first two weeks of June, for the time being, the Six of Swords tells us that you're concealing it or keeping it you know playing your cards close to your chest uh, you can reverse this too this might be somebody it would probably be somebody quite close to you but for most of you this is your energy here so let's clarify let's clarify the seven of swords what what are you concealing? Why are you concealing? What's being concealed here? And for some of you, it might be someone close to you, in which case it's likely a romantic partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. The Ten of Coins, long-term stability and security, family home, family money, family property, inheritance. The Lovers karmic connection a relationship at a crossroads this is often about a relationship that is at a crossroads and there's a decision a crossroads means a decision has to be made right so this is a decision that's going to affect this this relationship is it this relationship going to go this way or is it going to go this way or is it going to dissolve um, sometimes it can reference third party situations in which a choice needs to be made between two people not always but sometimes but it's definitely a karmic connection uh, the ten of coins I mean this would probably reference a long-term stable relationship or marriage or perhaps that's what somebody's thinking that's what this long slow plan is about um, taking this relationship to another level and some of you pregnancy might be involved here you might be trying to get pregnant but not talking too much about it trying to manifest something or some of you may be getting pregnant but not telling anyone about it yet some of you may be trying to get pregnant but not telling anybody about it yet some of you this may be considering making plans to make an offer towards long-term stability and security which is what the ten of coins is but what that is in a general reading it's impossible to specify because you all have individual unique lives with different things going on it can represent a, a home. There's a strong connection to home and family with the Ten of Coins. It can represent the property itself, maybe buying a home or building a home. Uh, because again, there's this energy of starting something. And it's going to take a while to manifest it. But the thing that you want to manifest in the end is whatever this Ten of Coins is for you long-term security and stability it might be financial and material it might be emotional in terms of a relationship or getting married or anniversaries maybe you're planning something for an anniversary i mean it could be a variety of different things but it, it this is in the we're in the planting seeds and, and planning stages still um with the it, but it's in regards to a relationship there's a relationship central here so either what you're building is about the relationship itself and where it's going or something about your lives together for a long time to come and right behind that is the queen of coins again so we have the queen of coins twice here it's either a taurus virgo capricorn person sun moon rising venus somebody who's manifesting like that um 
I mean, sometimes court cards can just represent energy that you're manifesting, but here, this is pretty much a relationship reading. <clears throat> Meaning it's either about the relationship itself or it might be in a different area of your life, but it's going to affect this relationship in a significant way. I'm going to clarify. So that's what you're keeping undercover or that's what's being kept from you. Somebody's not talking about this right now. I'm going to clarify that Knight of Coins to you, the slow and steady planner and an actor. Knight of Coins. The Two of Wands. So we have the Two of Wands twice here as well. Decisions. Crossroads, again, crossroads energy. The Eight of Coins, work, working hard at something. Uh, and you're working here on building up to that Ten of Coins, long-term stability and security, a lot of work, dedicated work, working overtime, um, being very dedicated to a project of some kind, judgment, again, another crossroads card. We have three cards here, two twos and judgment. Judgment speaks of, in a sense, being at a crossroads too. And judgment and justice both imply that the results of this or why you're here is completely dependent on what led you, the decisions that led you to this point. Judgment is a call to action, sometimes a second chance card, in which case the implication is you might want to choose differently than you did the first time. I mean, what does it mean to be judged? It means to be called to answer for yourself. You're called to do something. And what you say or do could profoundly change your life path. Um, if you choose to do nothing, then your life continues the way that it is, you know, probably for quite some time to come. If you make a different decision and decide to move in a different direction or move forward from where you're at, um, then you will probably continue to go down this different life path, you know. So, and this is all kind of this undercover. It, it feels to me, Scorpio, like you are trying to figure out Well, this is, this is all planning. This is planting seeds, planning. You're putting the work into it. But I feel like... With all this crossroads choice decision, I feel like you're wondering if now is the right time to start something um, or if now is the right time to come out with your plans. Um... If now is the right time, perhaps, to make this decision to move forward and to communicate with this other person about it. Let's clarify some more. Let's clarify. Let's clarify the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords usually represents a new idea or an epiphany or seeing something in a brand new perspective, like for the reality of what it is. It's illumination here, kind of the light bulb going off over your head. We have the Page of Cups, and this is under the Empress. If this is about a, a romantic relationship, either you see this person as just really beautiful, lovely, fertile, abundant, sensual, feminine, or vice versa. Page of Cups, messages, flirting. Ace of Cups, Emotional Renewal, New Love and Romance. Another two, Two of Coins. The Moon, Undecided, it's unclear. So this is somebody who doesn't know if now's the right time to talk to this person about this issue. Again, whatever this new beginning is, this new plan, this new idea, or this new start, Perhaps it's already started or you're just thinking about doing it. This is about whether or not it, it feels like you're undecided as to come out with something, to talk to somebody about something. It might be about where the relationship is going. It might be about pregnancy. It might be about marriage or buying a home. You know, it, it, it's about that Ten of Pentacles ultimately, which is the total fruition of all the work that you put into growing a crop or a child or a project or a home or a relationship right and it just feels like you're undecided as to whether or not this is something you should come out with because perhaps you're not sure if the other person is going to feel the same way or if they're going to be on board or what they're going to want you know how they're going to feel about this
but I think it feels like you're inclined to say something. Let's clarify this queen of coins because she has showed up twice as central in this, the other person. It might be some kind of renewal or reconciliation in an already existing connection or relationship. I suppose for some of you, because there's so much relationship, home, marriage, long-term relationship energy and decisions and crossroads, it could be contemplating leaving one person for another person, although I'm not really getting much of that here, to be honest. Let's clarify the Queen of Coins. Goodness. This card just popped out but didn't want to turn over. The Ten of Cups. Yeah. You have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the, the lovers. I mean, this is like marriage. This is a relationship connection with this queen of coins regardless of whether it's an earth sign or a female or not this is like marriage happy home long-term home stable you know whatever your ten of cups you're happily ever after white picket fences that's either what you have with this individual what you're perhaps thinking now is the time to move towards um yeah Clarify the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is with the Queen of Coins. Clarify the Two of Wands. Maybe you're, it, it feels like there's the, some uncertainty as to either how this person's going to react. Is, is now the time to talk about this? Is now the time to do this, to move forward? Hmm. Ace of Swords. We have the Ace of Swords twice. We're clarifying the Two of Wands, so a decision needs to be made. The Ace of Swords, the Two of Cups. This is so a relationship reading. You've got the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Two of Cups, and the Fool here. Maybe this is risky. Is this, an, is this the right time? Is this, you know, the Fool is about stepping off the beaten path and trusting. You know, doing something you've never done before. Doing something that you have no experience in. Doing something that might feel a little risky. There's a relationship here. But there's a new idea, a new beginning. Is now the right time? Should we talk about this? Should I tell this person that? You know, there's all of this kind of... Here. Interesting reading. But it feels really hopeful and positive. Clarify Ten of Wands. An overwhelming cycle, but... Coming to an end. What's overwhelming to you, for some of you, might be just all of this mental energy kind of going on. Is this the right thing? Is now the right time? Should I talk about this? Should I continue to keep it in? Should we? Might be the two of you together, you know, in some other area of your life. I think for some of you, what's overwhelming is like having this take up so much headspace. I mean, there's... Um, Swords, wands, cups. And for some of you, it might be that um, it's you and the other person, like the partnership, and you're considering you're either starting something new in your lives, starting to work towards something new in your lives, or considering doing that. And you don't know if now's the time to, to, to tell other people about it. Again, it might have something to do with pregnancy or childbirth or um, a home property is what I'm getting to. Okay, let's clarify this Ten of Wands. Lots of different stories going on here. But the un fundamental energy feels like, is now the right time and which direction do I move in? Strength. Facing fears, doubts, insecurities. The Empress again. Some of you for whom this is a purely relationship issue, I'm feeling... Either you or the person, the one thing that's a challenge in moving through taking this relationship to the next level or pushing it further is letting go of past negative relationship experiences and having the strength 
to trust that this time won't be like that. Some of you in regards of literal physical fertility and conception pregnancy, it may be that you've had some unhappy, uh, you know, and grief and loss over either trying to get pregnant and not, or not being able to carry a pregnancy full term. And you may be finding yourself pregnant again, but you're hesitant to talk about it because, you know, you're worried that it will be pointless. Let's clarify the three of wands, but still feeling quite so optimistic about the future. And our fertility too, or maternal energy, this could be adoption as well, not just literal physical fertility. The four of wands, one of the happy home marriage cards. Six of swords is healing. Things are getting better. Things are moving along. It's such a beautiful reading. The only kind of, I guess if there was a fly in the ointment, although it's not really a fly, it's this sort of indecisive energy about, do I do this? Do I say this? You know, do I offer this? Do I accept this? Do we begin this? Do we do this thing which pushes us forward? All right, any final messages? The Tower. The Knight of Cups. So whatever you're thinking of doing, saying, offering, think it might come out like a bolt of lightning, do it. The Ten of Wands, again, it's time to bring this cycle to an end. Whatever, whatever it has been, it's time for that has been to end so that you can move into a new phase. And here's the world card, graduation, moving up to the next level. Yeah. Uh, so all of this two crossroads, do I, don't I, should I, shouldn't I, you should. Just, just do it. Go out there, drop the bomb, do the thing. It's time to move on. 10, 10, the world, it's time to move on. It's time to graduate. It's time to move on to the next level. It's time to move forward. Whatever the decision is about, do I stay here or do I move something forward? Do I talk about it, which is part of moving it forward? It's time to move forward. Okay. So Scorpio, those are your messages for the first two weeks of June. I hope that you found them helpful, useful. If you did, you want to reach out for a personal reading, take a deeper look at something for yourself or maybe as a gift for someone else. Uh, email me directly, Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to hear from you and to work with you. You can also get that uh, contact information by clicking on the description link below. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the June mid-month readings. Until then, stay safe and well. Be blessed. Hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.